Okay, in this video, we're going to go over how to quickly and easily add panel lines to your model and uh, bring it up a notch and give it a whole lot of extra detail. Uh, and it really takes doesn't take a whole lot of time, and you can actually save it to the very end. Um, I kind of did it early to test it out, but I actually have it saved to where I don't have any panel lines on there, but I can quickly do it. Because I've already drawn them out. And basically all it is, is drawing out uh, projecting curves all over your model. So all, all I did was imprint them onto the model. Or, yeah. So they're all wrapped around it. So let me show you real quick. And panel cuts. And it's just a group of curves that are wrapped around the model. Ready to cut my panel lines into whenever I'm ready. So let's go ahead, go back. And we'll go ahead, turn them off. And it's really just a matter of projecting onto your model. And the way I did it here is I actually have a reference, uh, some diagrams of the Corsair that I'm working on. And I use them for reference, uh, even with uh, panel cuts. And it came in quite handy and it looks really good. So let's go ahead, turn the reference off there, and let's keep on going here. So basically, like I said, how I did it was I used the, the panel cut curves already projected on there. And then what I did was did the pipe command, which can do multiple curves at the same time. So it was quite easy. So let me show you on this tire over here. I've got some cuts ready for it too. So let me find tire cut. All right. And basically all it was, was I projected just kind of a diamond shape. I think it was this one here. And I projected it on to the tire. And that's actually how this particular uh, airplane tire looks. So, and then I just did a revolve around it until it made that nice little diamond pattern. And now I'm ready to go. So it was just a matter of doing shift I on the initial projection or not shift i just i because all you want to do is project the curve and then i just did a radial array around it so now all i have to do let's go ahead and let's do tire cut and i'll select the tire isolate select the tire first and i'm going to select all those curves and then just do a boolean oh. Not happy with me. Oh, I know. Uh, I skipped a step. Hold on. So let's go ahead and select all the curves again. Tire cut. Then we'll do P. And I already know the size I want. Point zero zero four. That might be too extreme. Let's do point zero zero three. Which is actually like three millimeters. I'm in meters on this particular model. And maybe I can go up to four. Takes a while with multi pipe, it does take a while to process. As you can see, there it goes. Now it's done. Right click, execute, give it a second to finish. There it goes. Created all those pipes for me. So now I can unisolate there and I can go ahead and turn off my curves my original curves now I can select that tire select my pipes Q done so let's go ahead exit out exit out looks like we're done isolating there and now we can go back out to the main model and that's basically it on how to do this panel cutting on here. So the reason I, I actually am waiting until the end, because I want to have a nice clean model to take into side Blender to eventually UV and texture. So then I could take a high poly model with these panel cuts and bake it into the texture. So 
let me show you just a quick picture I did last week of the panel cuts when I was testing it out. And you can see how nice they look inside Blender. And obviously this is the higher poly version. But Blender ha handles it just fine via the bridge. It looks really good. But that's basically it in a nutshell. I know I probably skipped through some things, but I think you get the general idea. Uh, let me know what you think, and we will definitely catch you in the next video. You guys have a good day.